So what I have here today is a overhead light for my Prusa 3D printer. It sits right on that top beam that goes across the top. This is about 0.63 millimeters uh, across here for the gap. So this would fit on probably a number of other 3D printers. I'll show you a little bit more about the design and how it fits on the printer here in a minute. So a couple things that set this apart. One, this is extremely sturdy. So some of the other ones that I saw were, were quite flimsy and I had one that I was using for a while and I just bumped it one day and broke the leg right off of it. And I wanted something that wasn't going to break and that was going to be very, very sturdy. So I've got a couple things on here that make this one a lot sturdier than some of the others. The other is, is that I wanted one that would use one of these nice aluminum channels for the LEDs, but would also work with various voltages of LEDs. So you can get LED strips in a couple of different form factors. You can get them in 12 volts, 24 volts, 5 volts, and so on. So what I've done on this one is there's a little boost converter, which I'll show you in a minute, in this part of the um, base. And that allows me to actually run some 12 volt LEDs through here. And I like to use the 12 volt. They just, um, I don't know, there just seems to be a lot more variety and you can get them in higher intensity than the five volt. But if you wanted to use a five volt, that would work fine as well. And then I have an on off switch here on the left. Right now it is set up just through a little power bank. So uh, obviously it's a light, <laughs> it shows, shines pretty bright. Now this has got some high intensity LEDs in it. You can of course put any LEDs that you want. So let's take a closer look at these support pieces. So let's talk a little bit about the support. Now both supports can be the same. I do have a version that doesn't have the hole in it for the switch if you want one that doesn't. But here's where the switch will go. It's just a, a nice little snap fit. And then over here where the channel is, there's a little notch that's that, that groove slides in. So you get a really nice clean fit on these. It's not one that kind of snaps around the outside edge. So this is really solid. It's not gonna break, it's not gonna flex or anything like that. So a couple of the things just about this support. So there's a slight taper right here on this little arm so that it slides into place really easily. And then there's a little lip right here on the bottom that goes underneath the support bar of the Prusa 3D printer. That way it won't, if you bump it up, it won't actually pop off. So it'll stay in place. And that was one of the shortcomings of some of the other ones that I saw is they were very flimsy and they were easily knocked around. And I wanted something that was gonna be super sturdy. And then, Throughout this hole inside, there's a hole, there's a little channel for the wires to go through. So you can see where they come out here on this end, and you can see on this end, there's a, a, a groove for that little boost module. So we'll talk about the electronics here um, next, but just know that there is a channel that goes all the way through here so we can fish some wiring. So let's talk a little bit about the electronics. So here are the components. I've got my aluminum channel for my LEDs, and then I've got my LEDs. In this case, these are the 12 volt LEDs, and then the diffuser. Make sure you do use the diffuser. The diffuser makes a huge difference. It'll keep your light very consistent. Uh, these are very inexpensive, and honestly, they're really, really convenient to use. You should have a handful of them lying around just for different lighting projects. The only other two components are going to be a little rocker switch. There's nothing fancy about this. This is just a standard rocker switch. I'm using the two-terminal one. You can use the three-terminal one as well. Obviously, we wouldn't use the third terminal. And then the last component is this DC boost converter. This has got a DC in, which we're gonna feed USB from a USB plug, and then this is gonna boost it up to 12 volts, and then the output is gonna go straight into the LEDs. Now in this particular case, I mean, ideally you would use a constant current driver, but you know, I've only got a handful of LEDs and these are super cheap, so if I happen to burn one of them out, it's not a big deal. I've got maybe, you know, a dollar's worth of LEDs here. So I'm not overly concerned about running this from a constant current standpoint. Uh, and I am going to go ahead and tune this to 12 volts with the LEDs plugged in just so that I get maximum brightness. So let's um, talk a little bit about how I've got this wired up. There's a couple little tricks that I did that you may want to do as well. Let's talk a little bit about the circuit. Now, there's a couple ways you could wire this up. Now, by far the easiest would be to bring your USB 5 volts into the DC boost converter module and then have that negative run through the switch over to your LEDs and then the positive straight to the positive. And there's nothing wrong with that except the DC, DC, the DC boost converter would always be on even if your lights are off. So one of the other things that I did 
again, you don't have to do this if you don't want to, uh, is to actually run the switch on the other side of the DC boost module. So to do that, I've got my USB positive, and that goes straight into the positive terminal of the DC boost module. Now the negative, what I did was I ran it up through the channel to the switch, and then on the other side of the switch, I ran it all the way back down, and that goes into the negative of the DC boost module. So now when I turn this on and off, I'm actually cutting the power to the DC to DC boost module. Now, the, what, once I've done that and wired that side in, then I ran two more wires, which are just from the output of the boost module straight to the LEDs. And so those go right through positive, and then also right through to negative. So now when I switch this on, it's gonna provide power to this boost board, this guy right here. And then when I turn that off, it kills the power outright to it. So it won't use any current, at least through this part of the circuit, when it's in its off position. Now, with that being said, obviously this is gonna be plugged into a small USB plug, you know, like this, into a wall adapter, which will have some current draw on it as well. That'll be uh, uh, another, you know, switching mode power supply, but that's not a big deal. We usually leave those plugged in all the time anyway. So anyway, that's how I'm gonna wire this up. Let's take a look at the final product. And this is how it all came out in the end. And you saw this at the beginning of the video, but the LED strip is very, very tight in there. It slides in really, really well. And then since it's using this little inner channel to hold it, it's not gonna pop out and it's gonna be a, a nice, good fit. You're not gonna bump it and knock it off. And then because I've got these notches on the bottom here, it'll hook underneath the metal bar on the Prusa 3D printer, and it's not gonna go anywhere. Now once I, and I'll just show you on this side here, so this little boost board fits very, very well in here. It's actually kind of a little bit of a tight fit, which is good, so you can get it all wired in, you can pull your wires tight, kind of give it a little push in there and it's not gonna fall out. One of the things I also did was I just followed up because I wanted some strain relief and I just kind of put some hot glue in there as well. Now, one of the things about hot glue is you may think, well, I may never be able to get that out if I need to. Well, that's not entirely true. If you put a little isopropyl, al isopropyl alcohol on this hot glue, it'll actually detach entirely and you'll be able to pull that out. So. Don't worry about filling stuff like this in with some hot glue. It works really, really well. Now over here on the other side, I've got the switch and that pops in really, really well. It's not currently plugged in. And then on this side where I've got all of the circuitry, there's a little notch and you can see that right here on this other leg, a little notch here for those wires to come out. And so those wires come out and they run around into the module here where they're then soldered in. I put a little put a piece of heat shrink on there as well just for additional strain relief. So anyway, that's the LED light for my Prusa 3D printer. It worked extremely well. I've got some really, really nice high intensity bright LEDs in here. So it lights up the entire work surface with just this one strip. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you have any questions, you can leave them below.